your performance in particular moments. Uh, there's Alana gets to be funny at times. She gets, I always love that season one. Ruth, that when she's yelling at Hannibal that like, one moment, you don't have yeah, sex that she's gonna. But um, but when when you have to be destroyed, very good at that. <laughs> um, and so both in the season one finale and then as she sees Freddy, um, the strength that Alana has to have to not leave the Hannibal gets to the option. Uh, where do you think that that comes from, and how tempted is she? Tempted at all to leave in that moment of the finale? Uh, I think that's what happens too with Will and Hannibal. There's always for Will a temptation to do good and to do to fall into what happens is because there is a darkness to him that's very it's like being on the edge of a cliff you know, you want to, you're curious what's going to happen what would that feel like and I think for Alana in that moment there's probably a moment of what's really happening she's in shock you know, she's in dramatic shock I think <laughs> Standing there for blood. I mean, obviously now she knows it's true. He's doing it in front of her. But I think there must be an inkling of is this really true? Yeah. But with everything that's happened, I think she feels a lot of guilt and a lot of anger for not having seen it. And there's no way that she can walk away and put also her own life in danger because he's such a manipulative person that he says you can walk away, but might not. The only choice is to stay. <laughs> Should have checked her gun. <laughs> and how do you think about that? She's walking up those stairs. Yeah. Many people I talked to just like felt like that was a horror movie moment. Yeah. Run up to her. Don't go up the stairs. Uh, and, then, and then the discovery of uh, uh, Casey. Abigail. Alana very much becomes her surrogate mother and then ends up in the same fashion leading out of the front. So is there, if you guys both survive, who knows, is there any anything that can be done in that relationship? Are they still bonded, do you think? Um, Abigail and Alana are yeah, bonded. It's going to be hard. <laughs> I think any therapist should know better than to, and that's what she says to Hannibal and Will all through season two. You are not supposed to be talking to each other. You are not to talk to each other. And Hannibal, as a therapist, should know better. And that's what Alana tells her. Gently, all through season two. So I think she would know better than to continue trying to help Abigail after she tried to kill her. But, I mean, I think Alana's going to be completely changed in season three with everything that happened. And I think she's going to start uh, working very differently. I mean, that's my feeling. I don't know what Ryan feels or what he's writing right now, but logically for me, she would probably say to herself, I can't follow my instinct anymore. I can't go by the rules anymore. Because obviously the FBI is not solid enough for wise enough to prevent everything from happening. So she's probably going to go cowboy style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's, she's been over the, the last couple of seasons a bit of a damsel in distress at times. Yes. Um, uh, a lot of it because she didn't realize what was going on. Now she knows what's going on. Are we going to see um, more of a strength in her and a... I think she's always been strong. In the first few seasons, it was a quiet strength. I feel like she never had to scream too much to be heard. Or she trusted herself. I think she's really good at what she does. But now something is broken that way. You want something that's really good. She's, she's, she's um, you're right. It's, she's been very quiet, and there's been, there's been a principle to her, yeah. but she's never really been one to sort of go out and say, look, you're going to listen to me right now, yeah. and if you don't, I'm going to take steps. Yeah. Um, she's been trying to sort of work the system, and it's not to really... Confront too strongly, because if she had done so, maybe she would have been rejected from the house. Right. I think Jack Crop would probably have been the type to go, you're screaming too loud, I get to scream, you don't go. <laughs> 
So, but now she's probably gonna, because she's not giving up. I, I don't think, or else she wouldn't be back if she just left her work and went on a beach somewhere. I um, wouldn't see her again. So clearly she's not gonna have given up, and she's probably gonna change her methods and probably be a lot harder and stronger, I guess, and less vulnerable, or, or at least shielded from what she lets into. Yeah, that's really. I think that scene was beautiful with the black ink seeping into her. I don't think she wants that feeling anymore. Probably yeah. going to build a shield. Yeah. What do you think about the possibility that there will that Bran will kill off a dog? The dog, my, my dog, any dog. Yes. Oh, that's uh, I don't think. I think Brian loves animals. Yeah. He's two dogs himself. He'll probably kill himself before he kills the dog. <laughs> Um, I think the fact that Brian made her female while she was a man in those books is the kind of an ode to the fact that he realizes that he needs us on the show to make it rich and, and be one, not just have us make it his wife. Um, but yeah, I think she's trying to make smart choices in a man's world and not uh, lose herself, lose her woman in a sense. But, but it's interesting. Yeah. You mentioned that she, she's going to be more shielded because of what happened I think, to her. I mean, yes. I don't know. That's what I like feeling. Yeah. The only thing she's going to be is the, going the route of Larry Stalin. Stalin? Larry yeah. Stalin, yes. Yeah. Larry Stalin. Oh, I thought you were like yeah. Russian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, well, I don't know. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, so, more like Clarice, you said. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, Clarice, what was interesting about her was Jodie Foster was kind of like, not frail, but she's not like a solid lady, you know? So you could feel she had, yeah, a, a vulnerable core that, that really made her, her shield very strong. Yeah, so maybe, maybe more along the line. Did, did you and Brian and Matt, or any combination thereof, um, before you started the the segment of the story where the, where you and Hannah, your character and Hannibal get get together, um, about whether Hannibal actually is attracted, like the, the degree to which it's a performance for his character? Yeah, I often wonder if he was just manipulating her or if there was any truth to his feelings. And Matt felt like he did like a lot of that Hannibal did have, I don't know if he loved or something, but he was, he had like a tender would he have been able to have a real strong relationship with her had she seen him? I don't know. But um, yeah, he felt like he wasn't just using uh, her. That's his. And did that did that affect your performance? Um, I mean, not really, because either way, she doesn't want to. 
I can't take it. I didn't like. I mean, I guess as a, as an actress, I didn't like the fact that he liked her for real. <laughs> she can be a, okay. But uh, <laughs> being liked by Hannibal is a mixed blessing at best. <laughs> A lot of ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, a lot of the character that one of the, probably the character actually that we know the least about of the, of the central cast. We know a little bit about Will's father, and we know about Hannibal through his relationship with Bedelia. How much of her life outside of her words do you explore as an actor? Much. Okay. Uh, I know actors who just write a notebook filled with notes of what they believe their character has where they grew up, what happened to them. I don't tend to go there very much. But I'm eager to know more about her personal life. Uh, I didn't mention it to her. I'd love to know who she is when she doesn't know. If she sees a psychiatrist. If she sees a psychiatrist. That or... What was her house look like? like I, we don't need to see it, but I kind of want to know how she goes back at night to her apartment. Is she going to drink alone or is she going to go out with friends? Like, who is she outside of the FBI? But then again, that's quite normal. We don't see many of these characters on the ground. And that's be who they are on, on their own. A little bit more animal than Will, for sure. Maybe we'll get to see them in season three. I don't know. <laughs>